City Football Club is undefeated. Last Saturday, they defeated Indy 11 at home Heworth Stadium in Hamtramck. The final score, 2-1. to one. Next up for DCFC, North Carolina Football Club, it's Saturday at 2 o'clock at Keyworth Stadium. It'll also air right here on CBS Detroit. And joining us live on set is Maxi Rodriguez. He's a midfielder for DCFC. Welcome, Maxi. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Okay, thanks for being here. How does it feel to start this season off so strong? 3-0. and uh, I think it's just great to start uh, strong, and it kind of leads us to the rest of the season. But... Uh, it's good to get the, the crowd with us and get some wins and, and, yeah, just get us going. Yeah. And I hear you just accomplished a milestone playing in the 100th league match. How does that feel? Uh, it's a really humbling experience uh, to kind of be able to do that and, and kind of reward myself and my family, which is what I do it for, was an awesome experience. Were they there? Did they see you? No, but they got to see you on TV. So okay. I found out, like, 10 minutes before I went out that it was my 100th game. You didn't even know? Oh, no, I had amazing. no idea. <laughs> and then they kind of told me, and then to be able to score and get an assist on my 100th appearance was, uh, yeah, it was awesome. That, that's awesome. Okay, so let's talk about Saturday. What's the plan for North Carolina? And you talked about the fans in the stadium. I know it gets crazy. So what can people anticipate? Um, an electric atmosphere, really. Um, our supporters do an incredible job to get out there early. They have smoke. They're singing songs. Uh, really intimidating for the other team. Luckily, I'm on, on their side. So, uh, yeah, electric atmosphere. Um, we're going to be firing on all cylinders, hopefully, and hopefully get a, a win. Any game day rituals, anything you do to prepare mentally? I mean, obviously, physically, you guys are practicing, but anything you do before each match? Um, home games, I like to get an acai bowl. Okay. So that's kind of my lunch thing that I go do and then take a nap. Okay. I'm a big napper. Got to get some rest. Yeah. And can the fans really make a difference? Can fans help you guys win? Yeah, of course. We go to a lot of stadiums throughout the league, and, and nothing compares to playing at home in front of our supporters. Uh, the energy they bring, whether we're doing well or whether we're not doing well, they kind of give us that energy to get back into it if we're not doing well. And, Maxie, one of the things we've been talking about and highlighting is some of the newer guys on the team. How are they kind of getting along with everyone? What's the uh, chemistry like? I think the best thing about Detroit is that we have such a family atmosphere. So guys that are coming in new they can kind of it's a smooth transition and we have a warm welcome and, and kind of have that understanding of what kind of city Detroit is it's a blue-collar hard-working people and they kind of fit into that perfectly and it's about bringing the right guys that can gel All right how long have you been in the city this is my fourth year okay so yeah. what are some things that you love about Detroit or you're really fond of now that you've been here for four I've years I got used to the cold okay I'm, <laughs> That's I'm, a big from, one. I'm from Texas so that was <laughs> tough um, but yeah, I, I enjoy a blue collar type uh, place where people are hardworking. They come to the, they uh, spend their money on us to come to the game, mm -hmm. and we try to uh, reward them for it. But yeah, I like the, the the grit that Detroit has, and and how they support their sports team is is unbelievable. So yeah, yeah. I've enjoyed it. With um, the game against North Carolina coming up, do you kind of are you watching tape? What do they have? What do you guys need to bring to make sure you can keep this streak going? Uh, yeah, I think it's always good to, to watch your opponent and see their tendencies left, and left stuff like that. Side. But I think with Fire such man. a great start, we kind of cool. try to focus on ourselves. But I have a buddy on the other team, so it's, it's going to be personal. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah. What is that, like some trash talking? or? <laughs> Maybe. I've known him since he was like six years old. Oh, so. wow. And that'll be nice. Yeah. Well, like nice and some rivalry yeah, there. I like sure. it. Okay. And one thing you all are really big about as a club is spreading soccer throughout the city and getting more people involved and aware and making it more accessible. What is it like being a part of a club that prioritizes that? Uh, I think it's important. I think at the end of the day, you want to get uh, the community involved and you want to do everything possible for that community because they support us and we it's important for us to support them. Mm -hmm. So being able to run camps or, or give people that don't have the privilege to afford soccer sometimes, to give them that experience because soccer is um, not the most popular sport in the city sometimes or, or in the country, but to just give them that experience whether they're going to continue it or whether they're, they're just doing it for that one time is to bring a smile on, on kids' faces at times. Yeah, those kids, they probably see you and they want to be you. Is yeah. that what you were like as a kid watching the <laughs> soccer stars? Uh, and yeah, I remember going and meeting whether it was professional college players and, and kind of how that impacted me and changed my life for the better. So if I could bring that to any kid or any person, I think that's unbelievable. 
That's pretty cool. You guys have a bye week coming up after this match, right? Yes. What do you do during that time? What's that like rest. for you? More nap, yeah. yeah. Rest, <laughs> napping, Naps. rest, walking the dog, just getting off the leg, but also not just sitting on the couch all, all day long. So, okay. uh, yeah, just finding that balance of enjoying soccer, then on the off time, just resting and enjoying life. All right, and for people who want to come out Saturday, what details, what do they need to know? Um, get there early so you can experience kind of the the crowd or the supporters walking in. I think that's a cool experience. The chant that they have when we walk on the field is really cool. Uh, and the food's good. That's Ooh. what I've been told. Okay, good to know. <laughs> All right. Maxie Rodriguez, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. Now, again, the DCFC's next game, it's 2 o'clock Saturday at Keyworth Stadium in Hamtramck. Tickets are available. Now, if you can't make the game in person, you can watch the game right here on CBS Detroit.